Oh, you touch my ta la la. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video I would like to dedicate to testing this brand new from Hourglass concealer that is called Vanish Airbrush Concealer. And if you're interested to see how did that go, then carry on watching. The box. So this is what the box looks like. Very sleek, typical Hourglass. I do like uh, products from Hourglass. I have to be honest, I never tried their foundation. I stay away from stick foundations. Normally they're not good for me. So yes, packaging gives the impression of their frosted glass. And um, there is a letter H on the lid. And this contains two fluid ounces of product of six milliliters. And it comes with the wand, like so. This is what the applicator looks like. This, this concealer retails for $34 plus tax. It comes in 22 shades, offers full coverage, and it is natural finish. Also, it offers 16 hours wear and it is waterproof. It is suited for all skin type and it is cruelty free product. This product is made in Korea and um, it came with the instructions, but I don't know what I did with the instruction. I looked everywhere, even in the trash. It's gone. I don't know what happened. Let's Today I went to Sephora and I did some spending and this is where the concealer came from. I have it in a shade cream and this uh, falls in a fair skinned um, category. So uh, let's open it up. I have not opened it yet. It's completely brand new. And um, this is what it looks like. Oh, wait. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit of a plastic frosted sensation to it. And it has a um, letter H on the side. Inside there's an instruction and um, yeah, that's it. Always, as always, I'm striving to give every new product a fair shot and I'm only using products that I know that works well for me. And I already applied my Embryolase, uh, which is something that I use all of the time with all of the products that are newly tested. And uh, for under my eyes, I'm gonna put a little bit of a um, Hydra beauty micro gel from Chanel so it's the same players all of the time every product is given a fair chance but not every product will be working on me I think that's just how it is for most of us um, for today's foundation I'm going to be using one of my true and tried uh, lingerie depot from Guerlain so this is the concealer once again I have it in the shade cream and uh, It doesn't smell of anything, to be honest. Oof. So I'm just gonna do that. This appears to be very creamy. On one side, I'm going to be using my artist brush. So that was with my artist brush number, what's the number? I don't know, six. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pat it a little bit with my fingers. Like so. Also, I did apply on the top of my lids. And there. Okay. It is very creamy, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. I liked how it worked with my artist brush. Okay. And also, um, because I have so much extra bacon on top of my eyelid. I don't see it, it getting too badly in my extra folders. Hmm. Okay, on this side of the face, I am going to be using this tiny uh, sponge. This is Real Technique sponges and I love, love using them um, for under my eye zone. And I forgot to mention that I am not going to be um, putting any powder under my eye. Um, with the side that I've applied with my um, artiste brush. Very good, but I do feel like my sponge side um, is a bit more sheer coverage rather than um, with my brush. Um, that is a true statement. So I am going to get a little more to make them appear the same. So 
So this side is going to be the one that I'm going to be setting with my powder. I'm going to be setting this concealer with this um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm going to grab my brush. And um, I have to mention the time is 12.37. I like it so far. So far it's looking good. Well, I'm going to disappear and apply the rest of my makeup and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to be back with the checking in um, business so we know what's going on. But so far I'm liking this product. I like how easy it is to work with and it's suiting my skin. And the match, color match was fabulous. Thank you. And um, I just finished applying my makeup. It only took a minute or two. Let's look what we have for now. This side has just a little bit of a product gathering in the corner. And this one is um, looking quite good. Yeah. I do have high hopes and I hope that this is going to work for me for now. Everything is looking up and the time is 1.20. So I'm going to go and do my thing and I'm going to take you with me so uh, we can all see what will happen. It's time. It is time for my first check-in and the time is 2.27. So this is the situation that I'm in. I just had something to eat so, um, so far I think I'm doing quite well and uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's good. So this will be my last check-in for the night. Uh, it is currently 7.26, it's day one, and um, let's have a look at the concealer. So um, I can see the difference uh, between the side that was not fixed with a bit of a powder and the side that has been. That I did not fix with my powder, um, kind of like faded a little bit, but it still looks presentable. And the side that did have powder um, lasted longer for sure. Uh, I would still say that fixing it with powder would be the way forward. Um, but so far I am really impressed. I, I like it and uh, tomorrow I will apply it again and um, yeah, we'll see how tomorrow is gonna go. I had a very difficult evening for people that have children. They might go through these evenings like I have now and again. So uh, yeah, it's a good one. Hopefully tomorrow is gonna bring me a better day. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. It's a following day, Friday, January 17th. And we are still testing this Hourglass Concealer. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using this one from Estee Lauder, Double Wear, one of my holy grails. And I decided to finally upgrade myself and buy a pump. I have been using this foundation for so many years and uh, finally I decided to splash out and buy a pump so this is the historic moment there it is okay I will have to put a little bit of a lip balm on my lips this one is by Terry now it's perfect time to apply my concealer and um, once again I am going to do the three swipes. This concealer has impressed me very much yesterday. I know I know it might sound cliche because I am on the YouTube, but I am a very private person. But the less I had some drama yesterday involving my daughter. I was going places and she just started projecting things and uh, naturally that trip got cancelled. I came back home and I have not slept for more than four hours. My eyes are red, you probably can see it, so this is what it's all about and I didn't want to put eye drops in them because um, I did that earlier and it was burning me so badly so I had to wait before I could film this. So if anything this will be the perfect time to and test this concealer to the 
breaking point. I did remove my makeup last night, probably around 10 o'clock, and um, I was impressed how it held on and um, the side that was uh, not powdered naturally was looking worse for wear but the one that was uh, powdered was looking good yeah looking good I'm really happy with that analysis this product it is thick creamy full coverage lightweight Perfect. I only keep products that I like and this is definitely a yes for me. I am enjoying it, it did a good job and it worked without the powder. I would definitely recommend it. So on this fabulous note, fabulous, I would like to end today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me on my Instagram. I would love to have you there and I'll see you in my next one. But for now, it's bye-bye. Good things come for those who wait and ta-da! I found the a little leaflet that came with the concealer and um, inside the note it just gives us the direction how to apply this concealer.